This is like my third shit unboxing video in the last half hour. <laughs> this one, this one's interesting. This is from CX. So I think, I can't remember if I did it or not. Did I? No, I didn't. I've been trying to get into some retro gaming. And uh, there's a guy called Retro Gaming Corps. As in C-O-R-P-S, as in like army, rather than get rid of my information instead of um, I think he's like an ex-squaddy and he does like these really in-depth reviews on um, emulators and stuff like that and there's a booming thing at the moment and Anbenek they released one called the 35XX something something SP it was basically a Game Boy uh, Advance SP. It was really cool. But it was a bit uncomfortable to hold. And I wanted something like... I also, I've also i never really been a mobile gamer. And I wanted to... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know I've found loads of games in there. I've just never played them. Because I can't get into... The best way to do this. Oh! I can't get into touchscreen controls. So I wanted something that was Android based, but also kind of gaming. And Ambernic have released a few things. There's also AYN that release it, but they're really expensive. And Razer released something about two years ago, the Edge. And I was looking into that because it was 160. Why can't I find your own thing for this? <laughs> and it turns out that's just a small tablet with their phone thing on it, and it's all like hand. So I wanted something more solid. And there's also the Retroid ones, which are massive. And I did a um, poll, community poll, about which one I should go for. And everyone said the Retro, most people said the Retro Pro. For Retroid, sorry. And I looked into it, but I've got big hands. And it looks. What is going this box? It looks really uncomfortable. So I decided against that. I went for the Ambernick 556. This is still wrapped. the blue one and they've got it on sale for like 140 quid on Ambernic but it comes from abroad and then there's the 20% sale tax on it so that was like an extra 30 quid and then I had a bunch of CX arches this is not a good condition box how is this A grade look This is a five and a half inch AMOLED screen. It's not quite as powerful as a lot of things. So like eight gig of RAM, 128 gigabyte on it, 128 gigabyte card. Doesn't come with any games, so I have to do that. But I've got the black one. Now the black one isn't meant to be as nice. This hasn't been touched. The box is battered. This is a pristine. Pretty simple, all you get is a couple of wipes, pretty decent cable. Oh, screen protector. Like, I want to play like Call of Duty online and stuff like that because it's. Ooh, not... But I need controls. Use a manual. Ooh. The now one of the criticisms has been so it's about the same size as a switch light, and it feels 
cheap but quality at the same time. Let's go like the Xbox. And it runs full amber. Oh, that's alright. Now, I watched quite a few videos, and I know everyone said this, but I went for this because of the. How do you turn it on? Oh, okay. What was that? Was that Tekken? Oh, it's got loads of games on it. running PS2 quite well. Can I turn up the brightness? Oh, that's a lot slow. Oh, it's running down on that one. Alright, cool. So it's got loads of stuff on it. Okay, groovy. So, I mean, I'll do a kind of review or some gameplay or something. This would be quite a good one to do some gameplay on, really. Maybe if you can record. Internet. Awesome. Right. Uh, thank you for joining me. Goodbye.